massive and coordinated effort to steal this election. Electoral fraud that would be uh, perpetrated through electronic voting. They used the machines to trash large batches of votes. Claims like these are at the center of a $1.6 billion defamation case against Fox News. Dominion Voting Systems sued the broadcaster in 2021 over alleged defamatory on-air comments that tied the company's voting machines to false claims of election fraud in 2020. This case really examines that line between what is journalism and what should be protected and what shouldn't be. From internal text messages to high-profile depositions, here's what you need to know about the case. During the 2020 presidential election, voting machine maker Dominion had contracts in 28 states. And after former President Donald Trump lost, Fox had his associates on broadcasts. Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani claiming that Dominion rigged the election in favor of President Joe Biden. Federal and state officials have said there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or changed votes during the 2020 election. The company argues that by airing those claims, Fox News gave them prominence, even though they were false. Fox says that it was reporting on newsworthy claims from a sitting president and his associates that other media outlets also covered. Dominion's main argument is that Fox News knowingly broadcast false claims about its machines because it had a financial incentive to do so. Fox has denied that allegation. Many executives in a lot of these email communications were expressing a lot of angst about losing viewership. So Dominion alleges that Fox leaned into the false claims to keep its viewers. In released court filings, Dominion says that internal communications among Fox hosts and staff prove that Fox knew the claims were false. Like a text message from Tucker Carlson to his producer, which said, Sidney Powell is lying. And another one he sent to Laura Ingram that said, it's unbelievably offensive to me. Our viewers are good people and they believe it. And in her deposition, Fox host Maria Bartiromo called an email regarding the election fraud claims from Powell kooky and unreliable. But on her show a day after receiving the email. Sydney, we talked about the Dominion software. I know that there were voting irregularities. Tell me about that. That's to put it mildly, the computer glitches could not and should not have happened in at, at all. Those, that is where the fraud took place, where they were flipping votes in the computer system or adding votes that did not exist. All of these domain will use to say Fox had a disregard for the facts of the case. Fox says that its on-air hosts didn't make the Dominion election fraud claims themselves. Dominion also released a deposition from Fox Corporation chairman Rupert Murdoch, who also owns News Corp, the parent company of The Wall Street Journal. He did acknowledge that some of the broadcasts did endorse claims of a false election, as opposed to simply reporting on them. And he acknowledged that he could have stopped it from happening. Fox says that these quotes were cherry picked from the deposition, but those statements on their own, Dominion will try to use to show that executives like Rupert Murdoch had control over these decisions that were made on air. The judge said prior to the trial that he would require Murdoch and other Fox Corp executives to testify if Dominion subpoenaed them. In a statement, Fox said demanding witnesses who had nothing to do with the challenged broadcasts is just the latest example of their political crusade in search of a financial windfall. Fox also says the lawsuit is an attack on press freedom. The 1964 Supreme Court case New York Times v. Sullivan says that plaintiffs suing for defamation must be able to prove that the publisher had actual malice. Which means that you knew that the information was wrong or you had a reckless disregard for the truth in publishing it. It's a historically high bar to meet, and Fox says that Dominion's evidence doesn't clear it. They say that some of the statements that have been highlighted, um, text messages expressing doubt, or simply cherry-picked. They believe that the host did express, an, in some extent, express enough skepticism on air. Like here, when Tucker Carlson said he invited Powell to back up her claims with evidence. But she never sent us any evidence, despite a lot of requests, polite requests, not a page. Dominion says that the emails, texts, and deposition testimony speak for themselves. In late March, Judge Eric Davis ruled the case should go to a jury trial. The judge also rejected Fox's arguments that they should be protected by the First Amendment and that they could have a shield for reporting allegations neutrally. Fox says that the newsworthiness of the statements at issue are clear and indisputable. The judge also said that Dominion had proved that claims the company had rigged the election for Joe Biden were false. Days before the trial was set to begin, 
Judge Davis said he was likely to investigate whether Fox News improperly withheld information during litigation. He also said Fox might face sanctions. Fox News said it didn't improperly withhold information from Dominion and produced additional materials when it became aware of them. So the trial will likely focus on whether Dominion can prove Fox acted with actual malice and if it suffered financial damages as a result. This trial is a rare example of a defamation case making it all the way to trial. And it's particularly important because Fox News is a huge name in media and they have a lot of influence. And so it'll be in some ways a test of this very difficult standard of defamation. 